Hey, what's up, guys? I got another one here. It's a 0411 swapped uh, 96 E28. Uh, I'm doing some work on it today. Uh, the customer had wired it all up and everything, and we couldn't get the map sensor to read. So I tried another map sensor. Still did the same thing. So I started digging into the wiring, and he just missed one pin. It was a sensor ground that went to two specific things, and it went to the TPS and the map. It wasn't throwing a TPS code, or it was throwing a TPS code, it wasn't throwing a map code for some reason, so. Uh, and it actually controls the air intake temp sensor. So it's actually all working now with a one bar map. Today, I am going to swap in a two bar map from Napa Know How, and I'm gonna go to tune it. Um, I'm not gonna do any wide open throttle stuff right now. It's all gonna be um, just driving around and stuff. I gotta swap into his 65 pound injectors. Uh, the reason they're going to be so big is because we're going to run E85 on this thing. Um, I'm going to wire up a sensor and stuff. I'm going to do all that stuff later, but I'm going to get I'm going to get it dialed in on uh, 93, 91 octane, and uh, we're going to go from there. So let me get started on these injectors. Shouldn't take too long, and then I'm going to go. Ooh, that's wasp. E, why is there a wasp in November? You guys are supposed to be dead. Uh, anyway, sorry. I'm um, going to put the PCM holder in, which is right there. I think he's missing the bolts, but he probably has them at home. Not a big deal. Um, but yeah, no wide open throttle stuff because I don't have a wide band and I just don't feel safe. I'll just make it really rich in, in boost. And then, uh, well, the exhaust shop was closed today. And that's why I couldn't get the um, uh, wide band bung welded in. So uh, I'll wait till Monday. I'll go, I'll go Monday. I'm sure I'll have this car Monday. And then um, I'll go Monday and, and then wire it all up. But uh, for now... I'm going to go ahead and finish up these injectors and then I'll get back to you when I'm in the car. All right. So I got the, uh, 65 pound injectors in, got the map sensor, uh, plugged in. Just got to modify the, um, uh, the pigtail on it. You got to cut a slit on the middle and the forward one over here, or you can just swap out the pigtail. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flash it to two bar. I'm going to copy over the fuel tables from the one bar, anything below boost. And then we're going to fire this thing up and it should just hit right off. Um, on these uh, two bar setups, you always want to fail the math, no matter if it's a, you know, a speed density tuner or not. You always want to fail the math and then um, I'll show you. Come on, sucker. This computer. Here we go. Okay. So here's a stock one bar. I'm going to go ahead and go to his VE table I'm gonna copy it and then we're gonna go ahead and open his two bar one which is right here I kind of got it halfway wrote and then we're gonna go ahead and paste boom not much changed so anything above 105 kPa is gonna be boost so 110 up it's gonna be boost I'm gonna go ahead and save that I got all the injector settings and stuff ready to rock and roll. Should be 65. I put 64, which is fine. Um, so what I mean by this, okay, so I've run into this issue before on HP tuners. Uh, you want to go here and go to engine diagnostics on a two bar setup. Okay, this is for two bar stuff. You want to go to engine diagnostics. You want to fail your map sensor or your, I'm sorry, your math, uh, mass airflow sensor. So put it at one hertz and then come over here and it's gonna be, it's not gonna look like this. But what you wanna do is max out this table right here so it could actually go into boost. Um, I just put 250 on it. Um, and then uh, go over here to DTCs. I usually uncheck all of these right here. That's for the mass airflow. So it's a 101, 102, 103. And I do mill on first error on the high circuit so it, it defaults to the map sensor. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. And every time you're swapping OS's, so what I'm doing is actually putting the two bar OS on it, you need to write entire. So go right here, click on write entire, and it says brickable. Yeah, it is brickable if you unplug it. Don't unplug it. Let's go ahead and write it. It's going to take about two to three minutes. It's, it's right, it's uh, initializing controller, downloading bootloader, erasing, and then it'll start flashing. Um, this is the only time you need to write entire is when you're swapping OS's. So once I'm on the two bar OS and I need to make updates, I can just go to write calibration 
and it'll just write the tune that I just updated. So uh, just you know, word of advice right there. If you're swapping OSs, you know, going from one bar, two bar, or whatever, you need to write entire on it. Uh, same thing with going backwards. If you need to go backwards for whatever reason, you need to write entire on it. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to take it. Uh, let me write this thing real quick, and then uh, I'll come back when I'm starting it up. All right, it just it just finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the scanner. I'm gonna put my two bar layout on so it knows it's two bar. And I think I have a two bar channel configs too, boom. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and connect to it. Opening interface, gather information, all that jazz. Move the seat up a little bit, I can't really reach the clutch pedal. There we go, and... So we, I got it uh, running really good, idling. We're gonna go. We're gonna go data log it now. Um, I think it still needs some IAC settings. Um, this one's going all the way to zero when it's idling, so I think I need to adjust the throttle body a little bit, or it could be just because of the blower. But I doubt it. I think it's just uh, throttle body settings. Oh, F body windows. I don't roll them all the way down. I don't know. Um, I don't roll them all the way down on an uh, electric setup at all, ever. Uh, I got manual windows on mine, so... Okay, so, yeah, it's running pretty good. Um, it's not terrible, um, but we'll get it dialed in. Um, I'm gonna have to go um, put the wideband in uh, Monday, I think, and then uh, we'll tune in the wide open throttle on Monday, because uh, the, the exhaust shop is closed. Sometimes he's open on Saturday, sometimes he's not, so I guess he's just closed today. It feels pretty nice outside so that'd be close today too um but we're gonna go ahead and uh i'm gonna go drive this thing around a little bit no boost or anything just various rpms and loads uh just like always you just dial it in just like a normal car and then uh we'll go from there all right so i haven't flashed it yet um i just did the idle stuff in my driveway kind of revving it and stuff make sure it wasn't gonna backfire or anything i got all that stuff squared away and i still haven't updated it but here's my perspective on this car. This car's just the balls. <laughs> so, this car runs really good. Uh, I haven't even got on it really. It's just that you can just tell it wants to go. Like it's, this, is, this one's going to be pretty cool, I think, to, to tune. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to get this thing squared away. The fuel trims look really good. They're a little rich. They're about, about 7% or so, 10% in some areas. Nothing crazy. So, uh, everything's working really good. Um, but yeah, I, I, this is going to be a really, uh, really good one, the tune right here. So um, let me get this all squared away. I'm going to do my little back road stuff, various RPMs and loads. And I think I think this car's got four tens or something, you know, four eleven, because it, it kind of drives like mine, just with a blower. So. Um, yeah, let me uh, let me continue driving. This is just boring stuff. Just driving along, just filling out all these uh, all these cells, and then uh, update, rinse and repeat. That's all we do: rinse and repeat. All right, so she's a little rich, um, like uh, going in sixth gear at sixty. It is rich, like it's really rich. Um, it was kind of cutting out a little bit, so we're gonna fix that real quick. Um, that was about a 15 minute drive. Nothing crazy. Um, it's gonna multiply it by half. And then adjust the uh, table here, which I usually just interpolate all the crazy stuff. And then go from there. See, so we got a little spike right here. And you guys can't see it, but it's all right. You're not missing much. Um, Let's see, boom, boom. On the rich side right there. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and s 
smooth all that off. So one of the keys to uh, doing all this stuff is uh, smoothness. Uh, you want to be, you want this graph to look pretty smooth. You know, you don't want a bunch of peaks and valleys and stuff. You don't want it to look like, you know, uh, an equalizer. <laughs> like it, it doesn't need to be all peaky. It's not going to run great at all. And since this is going to be a speed density only car, um, it really needs to be pretty smooth. So. Uh, it's, it is just relying on the map sensor right at this moment, and it's that's how it's going to live its life. Um, but yeah, it needs to be pretty smooth. So we're, I'm going to get this taken care of real quick, and then uh, we'll flash it and uh, get back on the road.
probably be okay. Which I'm actually going to test that on this because I'm kind of really curious myself. Uh, we're going to stop here at Jared's house. I think him and Brady are over here uh, messing with Brady's Toyota or something. So I'm just putting miles on the car. That's all I'm doing and uh, just tuning. All right, so uh, headed back home now. I got a lot of it dialed in. Again, it's just rinse and repeat. Uh, that's all you do is just go for a drive. Put some miles on it. Uh, when I get back home, Okay, so uh, I got this thing pretty much dialed in as far as drivability. It drives really great. The only thing I haven't done is wide open throttle uh, tuning. Um, I just put some conservative timing in it and then made it rich. So I need to wire up the wide band and stuff, but it starts really good. And remember the uh, tachometer reads half because it's a 4X setup. We need to get an adapter for the uh, tachometer. up the wiring right there just clean it all up and i think we're good to go but uh monday we're gonna get this thing uh wired up on the uh the uh wide band we're gonna do some uh bottom throttle pulls and then uh that'll be the second part of this so thanks for watching